Hey guys, this is Landon Day over at Daydream Photography again, and now this is our second part or the second video in this series where you've created the project already that we did in the last video. Since then, we have gone out and photographed it and have delivered your photos the next morning. And now you have an email saying your photos are ready. Now what? So the email you get will actually let you download the photos directly from that email with a link but it will download all of the photos in one batch. You have a little more flexibility or options once you get back into your dashboard and that's what I wanna walk you through right now. So the project that we created last time was for the studio, but this is obviously not the studio. This is a property that we did the other day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that. We loaded some kind of sample photos in here. It's gonna open up this folder or this window here. It's gonna have a ton of information, but I wanna show you basically how easy it is. Everything across the top is also everything that is down here in the bottom. So don't feel like there's just a ton of information. There's just two places to get to everything. We're gonna click on this box here called Go to Media. Once you do that, it's gonna show you a preview of all of the photos. From here, you can click and drag and rearrange these photos into different places if you want and change them however your heart desires. If you wanted to put the backyard very first because it has an awesome pool or you want to emphasize the kitchen, whatever order you want them in. Every now and then when we go to photograph a property, we may have to start in a secondary bedroom because they're still cleaning the kitchen. And we may deliver those photos in that order, but this is how easy it is to click and drag and rearrange the photos at this point if you would like to. Whatever order you put these photos in in the system, it, they will automatically be renumbered and downloaded in that order as well. So when you in turn load them into MLS, it's gonna load them in the order that you have them right here. Just saves an extra step for y'all on renumbering all your photos. So if there was a photo that you absolutely hated of the laundry room right here. So if I click on this eyeball, it's going to take it out and not let it be one that is in your website, in your slideshow, or one of them that gets downloaded. So you don't have to worry about that. If there were a whole bunch of them, you could select a bunch of them and go to selected and hide. And then all of those will automatically have that eyeball gone too. So there's more than one way to do that. So once again, if you click on the eyeball, it will show and unshow the photos from the slideshow and download. And if you drag and drop, it will rearrange the order that they are downloaded in and put them in that order. From here, I want to show you a couple of cool things. The property website got a big facelift when we went to this new uh, backend system here. If you go to change template right here, it gives you several different options of what those all look like. So they're all gonna be a little bit different, a little bit different color scheme. Um, play with those, see which one defaults to. I'm gonna use this blocks one because it's the newest one and just show you real quick what that looks like. If I come over here to branded website, this will automatically also be in that email that you get when the photos are delivered to you. Here's the property website that it automatically creates for you. If you had gone in when you set up your account and put in your logo, uh, either your personal logo, maybe your broker logo, etc., it automatically comes over to your website. So it helps make it look like it's coming from you. And if we scroll down, if I had put a whole bunch of information from the property description, like, hey, large lot, granite countertops, amazing pool, etc., all that would be right here. And then here's all your photos. If you click on this, all your thumbnails, and every templates are gonna make these all look a little bit different, how that works. Videos is also gonna be where your 3D tour is. And it is all um, interactive here as well. Ooh, uh, obviously not even the same house that we're looking at right now, just a quick one I could grab. Where it is as far as a map, based off of the address, so you can see things around it. And then at the bottom, again, is my headshot because I created this with my personal email account. This would be your broker logo most of the time here, all your information, your contact information, etc. If somebody was to see your, your website shared on social media, fill out this contact form, it goes directly to you. It does not come to us. So it's just a, another way to uh, gather content and all your um, client information or prospective client information out there from social media, email blasts, etc. 
So now we're gonna jump back over to this flyers tab and in the version one version of this software, it only had about three options for flyers. In the new updated version, there are now six versions of flyers. And I wanna show you just real quick how easy it is to actually create. I'm gonna use this one over here on the right because all of the photos are a little bit funkier and this is a little bit more of an extreme example of a template. And you can see how easy this is to do. So here's all the options. And we're just gonna click and drag on any of these photos and drag and drop them into the template. When I resize it, it automatically takes the shape of the box that it has available for it, and as well as puts the effects over the top of the photo that this template has designed into it. Go ahead and drop a few more of these guys in. And now this flyer is ready to be printed. It will actually save it as a PDF and you can print it off on your home printer. You can order them over at Staples, etc. but it will be ready to go. Over on the right, if you did not update all this information whenever you created the account or, uh, or the, created the project, you can update it now and it will automatically update in all the correct spots over here. This QR code will also take it to your property website automatically and then again, automatically, all of my contact information, logos, et cetera, are down here on the flyer all ready to go. So this is ready to be printed and utilized. If you wanna go through and change the template, um, you can go back in and change it. You can download it, you can um, email it straight from here. It's ready to go. And again, whenever you save it, uh, it will save it as a PDF, so you can print it anywhere. The only last thing I want to mention is that two things. If the photos come back to you and say preview, it is there because there is a balance owed on the project. As soon as that is paid, the word preview goes away and you can download to your heart's content. Um, also, these projects are automatically archived for one year. So from the day that we deliver the photos, you have one year to download, save, put them in your hard drives, um, your server at the studio or wherever you may be. Um, to have access to them forever at that point, but they will stay in our system for one year from the time we deliver them. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us, uh, give us a call, shoot us an email, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks.